In Matthew chapter 5, verse 19, Jesus describes two kinds of believers, both of whom he says will be in the kingdom of heaven. That's what the text very plainly says. But the first kind of believer that is described in Matthew 5, 19 is uh, a disobedient to the word believer. And not only a disobedient believer, but somebody who also directs others to be disobedient as well. Uh, and yet Jesus says very plainly that this person who lives this way, and clearly he's talking about a believer, he says will be in the kingdom of heaven. And the second believer is the ideal believer. This is the believer who is obedient to the word and who directs others to be obedient as well. And Jesus uh, says very plainly that this person also will be in the kingdom of heaven. Now, again, we're talking about a believer who is in phase two of their salvation, that is their walk with the Lord. Phase one is justification. Phase two is sanctification. So in Matthew 5, 19, Jesus says, whoever. Now, the whoever here is a believer. Again, the context demands that this is a believer. He says, whoever then breaks one of the least of these commandments, that is somebody who is disobedient to even the least of God's commandments. And not only that, but he, this is a double bad believer. Notice what he says in the second part here. And teaches others to do the same. So this is a disobedient to the word believer, somebody who breaks even the least of God's commandments. Furthermore, this person also teaches others to be disobedient as well. He is a false teacher and he's leading other people into sin. So he's not only disobedient to the least of God's commandments, but he teaches others to do the same. Jesus said that this person in the eternal state shall be called least, and don't miss the prepositional phrase, in the kingdom of heaven. This person that Jesus is here describing will be in the kingdom of heaven. That's what the text says. It's very straightforward. You cannot ignore the text. But this person will have a very low status. This person will have a very low status because this person is disobedient to God's word and because this person also teaches others to be disobedient as well. This person will have very, uh, very few rewards, if any rewards, in the eternal state. So this is his punishment. Now he will suffer in this life as well because he whom the Lord loves he, dis he, he disciplines like a father his own son. Hebrews 12, 6 is very plain to tell us. So this believer will not only suffer in time under divine discipline, but will also lose reward in the eternal state. And you can read about that in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 through 15, uh, 2 John 1, 8. And there's other passages related to that as well. But again, this person who uh, breaks even the least of God's commandments and directs others to do the same, Again, this person shall be called least, least, and again, will be in the kingdom of heaven. But now we have the ideal believer. This is the believer that God wants all of his children to be. Okay, This is the ideal believer. This is somebody who keeps, that is, keeps even the least of God's commandments. This is an obedient to the word believer, is who we're talking about, this second classification here. Not only is this person obedient to the word, he keeps even the least of God's commandments, but he's a double good believer because he teaches others to do the same. He teaches others uh, to be obedient to the word believers. And Jesus said, this person uh, who lives this way, who is obedient to the word and teaches others to be obedient as well, shall be called great. Notice, in the kingdom of heaven. So the prepositional phrase, in the kingdom of heaven, refers to both of these persons in Matthew 5, 19. Very, very straightforward. Uh, but this second person is the ideal believer. This is the person who advances to spiritual maturity, who is learning the word, who is living the word, who is walking by faith. And not only is this person learning and living the word, walking by faith, but this person is also correctly teaching others to be obedient to God, to, to obey even the least of his commandments. And Jesus said, this person, he shall be called great. Now, this is the believer who maximizes his or her reward in 
the eternal state. So this is the ideal believer. This is the one that God wants us to be. This is the one who receives blessing in time and, uh, and who avoids any divine discipline, at least any serious divine discipline for a prolonged period of time. Uh, but nonetheless, this is the ideal person who uh, is obedient to the word, directs others to do the same. And again, this person shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So you have two believers. You have the disobedient to the word believer who teaches others to be disobedient. And this person shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And then you have the ideal believer, the one who obeys the word, who learns and keeps God's word, and uh, teaches others to be obedient as well. And this person shall be called great, Jesus said, in the kingdom of heaven. So very, very interesting passage here. And I hope that this has been helpful to you. Thank you.